Okay, today is September 26th. Um, I'm doing an enduro race October 5th, and I just got the car. This is a car that was given to me by uh, King's Auto Wreckers. It's a 2007 Cobalt with uh, about 300,000 kilometers on it, which is why it was free and why it came out of a scrapyard. But uh, I'm going to wreck it anyways. The uh, thing is, I have, I have about a week to get it ready. Uh, interior is a little dirty and disgusting, but it's all there. Driver's door doesn't latch. Uh, I'm going to weld the doors anyways. But yeah, it's got 300,638 kilometers, but it starts, steers, and stops. That's the car. So now I'm going to start uh, ripping it apart and see if I have, like I said, about a week to get it ready. I uh, have to gut the interior, weld the doors shut, knock all the windows out, put some uh, roll bars in it, um, take the bumpers off, lights, taillights, all that stuff. But uh, yeah, should theoretically, should go fine. In between, I have to work my full-time job between there too. So basically, it's going to be a couple hours a day and then maybe uh, Saturday a whole day. And uh, yeah, so uh, here we go. Wish me luck. Uh, I've seen a trick done with a spark plug. You take the porcelain from a spark plug and you rub it between your hands and throw it in the glass and it shatters the glass. It's kind of cool. I've, I've done it once or twice. So I'm going to try and do it now because uh, this glass is actually pretty hard. You can take a hammer to it. See? And, and not break. you got to hit it just right. So you take a spark plug and I've smashed it up to get the uh, porcelain pieces. And apparently you take your trick is you put it in your hand and you rub it something to do with static electricity or something i honestly don't know how it works i'm sure you can google it and you whip this at the glass and it actually goes through like it's nothing so now that i've talked about it it's probably not going to work i'll have to edit this so it looks cool but it does work so let's see if we can get this to, to go Try another piece. I knew this wouldn't work. Oh. And it's starting to rain harder now. Maybe it's too big a piece. I forget there's a trick to it. A certain size a piece or something, but just like that. Well, there it is. Today is Wednesday, so I got this car exactly a week ago. And uh, except for the tires, it's ready to go. I have tires to put on it, which I will put on, but it's just mounting tires. You don't need to see that. You know how that works. Um, interior's gutted, upright support, side to side support, all the windows out, carpets out, airbags are out. Um, I have to have a sign, have mesh on the uh, windshield, hood pins tied down, can't have a proper uh, factory latch, protection for the rad, screen on the rad, chains on the bumpers, numbered. I'm going to mount the GoPro up on top of the shark fin there for the race. Um, yeah, more chains and bumpers, trunk tied down. We're ready to go. We did it in a week. Car is ready to start up. 
Uh, I've cut the muffler off. Uh, let's see what it sounds like. Doesn't sound that bad. Now I just gotta figure if I can actually fit into the hole in the door. <laughs> or I make it bigger or go into the back probably. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this video up and show that we got the car ready in a week. And uh, hope we do well on Saturday. <laughs>